crazy sanctuary build. I'm not here to look at my buildings. I'm going to look at this uh, vault. 111B. Vault 111B. I'm on PS4. So I'm not expecting any uh, new content as such. But it's a new place to explore. No mission or anything like that. But apparently I can explore. And hopefully there'll be some enemies there. But it's obviously this is a mod that I'm heading towards. Vault 111B. I've not... Um, I've not opened a window, I don't know who it's by. I'll put it in the description though when I come to... Once, it's, once I've played it through, I'll, I'll update the description, put a link to where you can get a hold of this on the Bethesda page. Alright, so let's see what I can see at Vault 111B. I've had a lot of crashes lately on my game, and I've put it down to Simple Settlers. A new, that mod, I think it's Andrew CX, is mod where you, all your settlers get names. I just noticed that I had it on before and I kept getting crashes, so I got rid of it, put it back on again, and it seems to be crashing a lot again. Hello? Yep. Sorry, Raider, you should have ran as soon as you heard me clanking along. I do love the enthusiasm of raiders, like this, this woman in her long johns and her pipe pistol could have taken me out. Not that I gave her a chance anyway, she'd be better off just uh... Yeah, I imagine it's the uh, copious amount of drugs that they take that makes them think they can handle anything. Let us venture into Vault 111B and see what we can see. While this is uh, doing its thing, let's just go on the Bethesda page and see if I can find out who this mod is by, in case you all want to check it out yourself. <coughs> Got a bloody cold coming up, I feel my throat going horrible. Interesting. Something smashed this door down. I can't imagine it was a nuclear blast that did it. Ah, we have some some information. We do have some new content, some some things to read. Final report from Vault 111B. When the scientist is finally secured at its location, you have my authority to lock the main door and get your ass from what far away far away here be sure to erase any data that could divulge the truth of why he is really here it's imperative that you never know the truth good luck and godspeed assigned Sofia Litvenko former overseer let's just take that this security door doesn't seem to be openable Someone dead at the security desk, anyway. Hmm. Something smashed this door in. Maybe they were creating some kind of super mutants or something. Or some kind of super powered beings. Hey! Oh, raiders are taking over, anyway. <laughs> Not worth wasting bullets on. Grog Max Axe dispatches the movies. I almost feel sorry for them, but I don't feel sorry for them at all. I'm lying. <laughs> I never feel sorry for raiders.
I'm not going to pick anything up because I don't want to be over encumbered. No more worse than me huffing and puffing along. I might pick stuff up on the way out. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's going to be any mystery. Or maybe there's a mystery to discover. At the moment, it's just raiders. If there's any mysterious enemy here, then. Oh! So there's a lot of them. Huh. Uh, and, uh. Some reason doesn't someone want to work. Damn it. I seem to hit that radar. Managed to hit that one alright though. He's good and dead. How cute! Actually, they're quite tough. These raiders, actually, it's taking a few hits to actually kill them. More like it. There's a lot of them, I'll say that for him. Fight there. Let's just read this terminal. Alright, oh, let's get out of power armor so I can read the terminal. Raider Entry 1. July 9th, 2287. So it was seen that the eggheads back at camp were right. The warning signs were full of shit. We arrived this morning with our human canary and kicked the poor son of a bitch inside. After about four hours of persistent complaining, we realised it was safe for the important people to enter. July 10th, 2287. Okay, so the rumours were true. There is a vault here, in a sense. This place is only a few metres away from Vault 111. But this isn't a real vault. It appears to be a fakery of sorts. It's just a shell. The entrance doesn't even have the seal, which means whoever was down here would have had a tasty dose of radiation. On the plus side, there is a life support system feeding in air, and there is even power down here. July 11th, 2287. This is quite um, well written for a raider. So me and a couple of the lads are going to hold down the fort while the rest of the boys go back to camp and grab their things. This place would do just nicely for our new base. Okay, it's a little dark and damp, but at least it will keep out the wind. We've already stripped out some of the consoles and machinery, and they're currently on their way to Good Neighbour for a lovely little profit. Time to start making this place feel cosier. But knowing raiders, that would have been spikes and dead bodies everywhere. July 12, 2287. Okay, this is totally fucked. Nathan woke me up last night to say we had an intruder over in the kitchen. I grabbed my pistol and made my way only to discover a rather odd man snooping in the refrigerator. He didn't even see us enter until I, I, I tapped the fridge with the hilt of my gun. This is the crazy part. He was wearing a vault scientist uniform. Nathan asked me asked who he was, and the only thing we could get out get from him was that he's part of the original vault team down here. He seems to be a bit confused on the the current date and the circumstance, so we've locked him in one of the rooms downstairs until we can decide on how to dispose of him. These road these raiders seem almost sensible. Right. There was a little bit of swearing in that in that in those entries, but in the main, they were almost uh, subdued and not killing someone straight away is barely heard of for raiders. 
Show your face! Come on! I dare you! Don't worry. Oh. I'm coming. I'm a direct grenade. Oh, you know what I've just done? This is quite funny. I've just thrown in a, a raider spawning grenade, I think. Did I just throw in a raider spawning grenade? I'm pretty sure I did. So I, I, yeah. <laughs> I've just created more enemies for myself. What a wally. Let's just uh, try that again. I'm oh, not all coming for me. I thought they'd at least fight their other raiders. Well, that's backfired. Let's try normal grenades. That was embarrassing. But quite funny. <laughs> I managed to make more enemies for myself. Oh, look. They've been weighing human heads. Perhaps they're making dinner out of that head. Some nice head soup. Not be much help, Q. What are you doing all the way in here? Your is your navigation gone skew with or something? Right, let's go down here. <laughs> so the original people who were here died, apart from one guy who's turned up in the middle of the night still alive. Very peculiar. I just remembered I was trying to sign in here to find out who this mod was by. heads around so I'm assuming oh look at that that's just not right this looks like a raider's head so I'm assuming I don't know I thought I'd, I'd make up many eyes for a second which is like that kind of raider wear I'm assuming these are just some poor unfortunates that the raiders caught so it was me saying that they're not they're not all bad these ones because um they weren't that sweary in their uh, what they wrote on the console, terminal even, but they are still pretty sweary. Blood. I picked up that key as well. 
I want to look around the rest of the place first. I think that might lead to another area. Oh no, all of these keys actually, okay. Gareth? Gareth's been trying to break out by the looks of it. There was a screwdriver stuck in that there. So this must be the guy they locked up. Oh, he's not going to talk. Yes. That's a shame. I thought of it. I thought I know it's a PS4, so you don't get any new stuff. But I thought you might have at least some some typed uh, dialogue, even if you couldn't have voice dialogue. And there's a little pussy cat. Toro. Toro the pussy cat. That's a shame. I was hoping for some some new story. That's how you do it. That's how Grognex acts like to operate. Head goes flying there. Leg flies off over there. Or was it an arm? It was an arm. Danger of getting lost in this vault though. It's quite um, quite a big old vault. Oh no, I'm back to where I came from. Is there any story elements that I can see around here? Has he written anything that I can read? Is there a console he's typed up any information on? Is this just running on repeat of the, the bombs are falling? Fusion core, I love that. Security helmet, they always come in handy. Take some bullets. It surprises me how some terminals you can use with your power armor on and some you can't use your power armor on. Right, so Gareth's log entry number one. Let's get some story. Right, this is 200 years ago, April 28, 2077. This is before the bombs. So as instructed, I arrived at the vault location at precisely 0800 hours. I was greeted by a rather charming fellow at the gates in military power armour, who while pointing the barrel with a machine gun at my nose, took my name and identification. This is when things seemed to deviate from the explained plan. I was escorted by a rather rude security team past the proposed vault entrance and to the entrance just a few feet away. I will be discussing this matter with the overseer when I see him. Log entry 2, April 29th, 2077. I don't get this, I've been here 12 hours now. The last bit of human contact I've had was when I was given an injection by the medical officer on arrival. I'm told the injection works as a sort of boost to help combat any potential radiation related illnesses. I feel alright I suppose. Actually I feel very well. Even my old knee pain has disappeared. I get the feeling that Gareth was experimented on. Maybe he was put... April 30th 2077. Okay, something is very very wrong here. I knew something was amiss since the moment I arrived. I could feel it in my gut. When I saw that door on arrival, I had to try so fucking hard to sell it to my technical expertise. I mean, how on earth is that door supposed to keep us safe? Fuck, we're not even that far below surface level, for Christ's sake. Having said that, the bombs... Uh, having said that, the bombs did fall. I know they did, I felt it. The whole room here shook with such tremendous force. I thought I'd soon be heading for that genius bar in the sky. What was worse, I heard screams and yelling for a few moments after. Fuck, what's going on out there? Hold on, this is April the 30th, 2077. But didn't the bombs fall 23rd of October 2077? So was it a fake uh, nuclear attack? I finally worked out the courage to open my door. Naturally, the bastards had me locked up tight. There was nothing my little screwdriver couldn't fix. When I went upstairs, my worst fears were confirmed. I am the only one here. I'm not sure what worries me the most. The fact that I'm alone in this tomb or that I'm not dead. You heard me correctly. Shit, I haven't eaten since I first arrived. I haven't had a single sip of water and I feel fantastic. My vitals are normal. What the fuck was in that injection? And that's on May the 7th, 2077. So obviously some Voltic experiment of some kind. But I'm sure those dates are before the actual nuclear war. So did they 
they give him this uh, stuff. Toby's camera. I don't remember it called Toby's camera before. Is that something that's available elsewhere? Is it in junk? No, it's not in junk, it's in miscellaneous, I think. That bears investigation. Toby's camera. Well, I don't suppose I'll be able to see anything on it because this is PS4 and it won't give me any extra interesting goodies. Let's have a good look. Toby's camera, Toby's camera, Toby's camera, Toby's camera. I wish there was a way to jump to things. Toby's camera, Toby's camera. Still miles off. Toby's camera. Okay. So it is junk, but it's in miscellaneous, not in junk. Can I inspect it? Okay, it just seems like a normal camera. Okay. Why make it a named item? If it got no importance or relevance to anything. And who the hell is Toby? Will it become clear in the course of investigating this place? Is it just it has a notice me or is it really not? Oh yes, it does appear to be a tame a tame red roach. You have a tame red roach. It's legendary. So I'm tempted to kill it to see what good is it has on it, but um No, I'll leave it. So this is uh, a locked door. There have not been too many locked doors. Oh, but I've got a key that unlocks most things. So why have I got to pick this one? That's it. Ah, Feral Bull Reaver. <laughs> and the dead glowing. I'm assuming this guy's been here for a long while. Well, maybe, maybe there was more. Uh, there were other original. Strike! No, no, I couldn't even knock him over. Wow. So it tells me this thinking this bowling game is rigged. Ah, oh, that's more like it. That's more like it. Mind you, lucky this is a shoot 'em up game and not a bowling game because uh, the physics are all wrong. So this was a game room. Not well placed that ball table. You won't be able to play very good shots from this from this side. Right, let's look in the clinic. Oh, inaccessible. Broken. Cryo. Cryo. It says on there. There's no mention of it being cryo anywhere another than none there. I wonder if that leads through to the other vault, the, the main vault 111. But he said it wasn't deep enough. Why a tame red roach? Totally tame red roach. It's ugly as sin, but I can't kill it because it just seems mean. What's the bet? It's got some super duper thing on it, that, like a really good weapon or something. This is not a good place for bringing companions, though, because uh, Curie has refused to follow me.
Yeah. Come on, Gareth. So no PS4 can't add new dialogue with a new voice. Oh, you did, well, that's obviously not new your voice, but I'm sure they could add um, just you know like text text talk. Can they not do that, or is that not allowed with uh, with their limitations that they've set on mods? Is there more to discover? One wonders. There was an up. There was a, a an upstairs actually. I can check that out. Mind you, I've not checked everything down here yet. <laughs> it's got a message from uh, my mate. Is that the, the the bloggy bloggy shirts? The bloggy 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 blog blog. I'll be doing my bloggy blog later. I hope you'll be tuning in for that. It's going to be blogtastic, mate. It's going to be absolutely blog amazing. All right, get to bed. I see. I'm talking on the online there. Yeah. I'm playing a game and, and talking to people. <laughs> well, one person. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> it's my housemate I'm talking to. In case anyone wondered who I'm talking to. This belongs in the garbage can. Yes. Hey. And any hot single men? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was my flatmate. Uh, I was chatting to. Right, so yeah, that still seems to be everything in this mod. There was definitely. I'm sure there was another up. Oh yes, yeah, and upstairs here, to the overseas office. Maybe I'll get some information in the overseas office about what happened in. Oh, it requires key. Opens with a key. I haven't discovered another key. Oh, that's annoying. Looks like I have to live a good old look around again, see if I can find another key. Bruh. Like, it wasn't in there. Where is the key? You play Fallout all topsy J? Alright, so I've got to find that overseer's office key. So I can get into the overseer's office and see what there is to see. Now, he, shouldn't, he shouldn't be in here because this guy was a prisoner. So he, I mean, it's, well, mind you, he was here before the raiders got here. So it's possible he might have the overseer's office key, I suppose. I shall search his room. Alright. We've got two people, two people watching. So you're more of a FIFA player, are you? Can't, yeah. Mm, I've played FIFA in the past, but now I'm, this is my game now. I play nothing but this game. I'm a one. I'm a one-game kind of guy. If you happen to see a key anywhere, just holler. Did you listen to my podcast this week, Jay? Reporter's pencil. You look nice today. Blood. Oh, he's written in blood. This person has written in blood on the blackboard. You look nice today. That's uh, an interesting juxtaposition. Alright, still no sign of any key. What's that? Is that a. Uh, oh, it's the folder. Derby winning toy car. They've got some named items here that I've never seen before.
Make sure there's no key on any of these dead raiders. Right, nothing in these cupboards. suppose it's possible there might not be a key, which would be rather annoying for me searching around for hours trying to find a key that doesn't exist. But this is a mod and these things happen sometimes with mods. Hmm. All right. A band called Feated Zombie. Yeah, the name sounds familiar, but I don't think I have listened to them. It's just one of those names that, uh, yeah, it just rings a bell, doesn't it? Fetid Zombie, Feated Zombie, however you want to pronounce. I shall. If you've got any MP3, send an MP3. If you want to say play, just send me an MP3 and I'll play it. But I'll, I'll try and check them out. To be honest, I've got so many bloody... I've got folders going through to, to April with my tracks already planned out in them. I'm so far in advance with my shows, with like, all the promos I've been getting. I wonder if Fetid Zombie might be a promo that I've got, actually. It's possible. Vault Tech Lunch Boxes. Right, no sign of any key. I bet there isn't a key. I bet I'm wasting my time looking about for a key that doesn't exist. I had this once before with a PS4 mod because you haven't got the um, the stuff you can do on the Xbox and, and on the PC. It was made so you couldn't actually finish the actual mission that was there. I wonder if it's going to be a case of that. Toy truck. No key. Barber. Have I been to the barbers yet? Don't think I have. Let's get Grog next X out just to be on the safe side. <laughs> I like the teddy bear. That teddy bear is giving the other teddy bear a haircut by the looks of it. That's pretty cute. I like that. Aha! I see a key! wonder if that was the overseer. One of the overseer went to get a haircut and ended up dying. Anyway, Jay, I will try and check out a uh, fetid zombie. Uh, check out my podcast, though, yeah. It's awesome, it's got me on it. Yeah, you can do you can do it on PS4. Oh this is where I came in originally. Is that door locked when I first came in or something? Like that? I'd like to not go that way. You know, you can do. There's mods on uh, everything now. Still can't get into the security room though. Right, let's go back to the overseer's office. Yeah, cheers, mate. Um, apparently we used to chat on MySpace, is that right? I don't recall. What was your name on MySpace? Was it all Topsy J on MySpace as well? 
Who did that blooming overseas office? I can't remember now. There's another door I've not opened. Oh, inaccessible. Yes. Oh. oh, it's opening now. Okay. It said inaccessible. I thought it meant it wouldn't open at all, but apparently it does open. Once you've got the overseer's key. I still haven't looked up the name of this model for. Let's get on to my. Right, well, let's log in on. Uh, mods. Alright, maximum number of saves has been done. So, okay, so I won't save it. Hello? Ah. Protect and serve. I hear scuttling. Oh, is that just dripping? So this is a. I imagine this is. Is this leading back into Vault One and Eleven proper? No, no, these are. None of these cryopods have got anybody in them. Someone who's come out of this one. No, is that the guy? That, is that the guy who was down in the uh, in the other room? Oh, it must be a long time ago, mate. MySpace back in the day was better than Facebook, I've got to say. Protect and serve. Can I do anything on that uh, terminal? Or is that terminal just for show? That protection one's got no hands. Okay, letter from the overseer. From Overseer of Vault 111B to Vault 111B stuff. Listen, I can only imagine how angry you all are with me, but you have to understand it was never personal. You see, you had your jobs, which you all accomplished brilliantly, but I have to do mine. The experiment requires a subject to be in complete isolation, which means we had to go. We had hoped to get the pods in here functioning also, but we honestly didn't have enough time or funds left. I remember you all fondly. Hugs and kisses. Overseer. Okay, so the experiment was just to. Uh, okay, nothing to do with the Tektron. Alright, so that was that then. The, over, the idea of the Vault Tech Protect experiment, the Vault 11B, was to leave that guy here alone, inject him with something, and then bog off. Ah, I read that, Jay. Okay, so you was already on my channel then, was you? <laughs> Before I started doing Fallout videos that no one watches. <laughs> right, cool. Right, let's go to that overseer's office now. No, don't go that way. That's the barber shop again. Let's go back this way. Have you heard Tim from Goldroid's new band? No, this isn't the right way, is it? No, it's not the right way. Right, this is the overseer, right? Here we go. I wonder if there'll be any more enemies in here? Sure. 
Alex's note wherever Alex was. I've been instructed by the overseer to wait here until he returns. That was about 50 minutes ago. I have a very bad feeling. <laughs> yeah, something tells me you waited a little bit longer than 50 minutes in the end. So I'm assuming because his vault wasn't deep enough, the radiation came and killed everybody. I'm sure the dates were wrong on the uh, the first note. Talking about, oh, I don't know. Individual bottle caps, interesting. Folder. Let's see what the overseer's terminal has to say. All right, yeah, Gorebound, yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing's happening with Gorebound, I don't think. Jason, I haven't really spoken to for ages, but uh, yeah, J um, Tim's in like a, a um, what you'd call it, bluegrass band, a bluegrassy punk band called the Dog Days of, uh, no, it wasn't the Dog Days of Summer, now it's Joe Carly and the old Dry Skulls. Uh, Joe Carly used to be the drummer in my band, uh, my band Suffering, I don't know if you ever heard, saw my band Suffering. Or heard of them, but yeah, my, she was in my band. And yeah, she married uh, Tim from Gorrotted, and um, and now they're in a kind of like a punky, um, yeah, punky bluegrass kind of band with washboards and mandolin and stuff like that. Anyway, Vault 111B Overseer instructions. Confidential, confidential, confidential. Overseer eyes only. Vault 111B is designed to test the long-term effects of isolation on an unaware human subject. Your staff will be on short-term assignment to monitor basic mental and physical health. Long-term monitoring will be handed, handled remotely by Vault Tech computer sensors. Under no circumstances is the isolation to be disrupted. This includes the administration of life-saving measures. Your staff is also considered expendable. Insubordination or attempts to communicate with the subject are capital violations. Injection administered. The candidate arrived this morning promptly and in good spirits. I witnessed the administration of the serum injection and watched as he set up what will be his home for the next 200 plus years. It's going to be very interesting to see the results of this experiment when I leave cryo. Is that you never made it into cryo because the cryo things weren't working. Time to leave. The subject is comfortable and currently sleeping. Me and a select few of my staff will be leaving shortly for Vault 111 via the secret passageway. Going by our intelligence reports, we have about one hour before Armageddon. If all goes as planned, I'll be back to add more entries in 200 years. Godspeed. Uh, and anyone who's played the game knows what happened at Vault 111. The only person to survive Vault 111 is me. Because, uh, yeah, things happened. Bad things. Alright, what else is there to discover here? There's a couple more doors. Anything to kill? Oh! Uh, yep. Any more for any more? There seems to be a workshop desk here, so I can actually build in here. No, you haven't heard of my band. Story of my life. <laughs> it was a long time ago, anyway. I've got videos on my channel of my band, actually. If you're really, really bored and you want to hear someone sing really badly, then yeah, feel free to get along there and check them out. Alright, so I didn't remember that this was actually looks like it's a moddable settlement as well. Let's just see if I can actually get... I've been meaning to click on this for ages, but... Um, trying to find out who actually this mod is by. I think it's just called Vault 111B. Um, come on, where are you? PlayStation 4. Vault 111B. Can't see it. Vault 111B. No, that's not my blood. My mods, you stupid bloody thing. Not everybody's mod. I right, don't worry. Let's just look around some more. Uh, hmm. Memory console. Sit. What does this do then? Nothing. MQ202 memory con memory den console. Sit. Hmm. Doesn't do anything. Interesting. 
Not quite sure what the purpose of that is. Maybe it's something because I haven't got maybe because on the P on the um, PS4 version doesn't do anything. Maybe that wouldn't surprise me. Let's have a quick look. See if I can find. Uh, but yeah, Vault 111B for the PS4 by Gaz Arts. I'm pretty sure I did another uh, one of these before. <laughs> yeah, Metal Archives has had us down as being on hold for blinking uh, quite a few years now. To be honest, we do gig regularly. Like uh, on my 40th birthday, we gigged. And uh, yeah, Gaz Arts is the one who did this mod. Yeah, we did a gig on my 40th birthday and on my 45th birthday. So, in a couple of years' time, when I hit the big 5 0, we may well do gig again. Just to keep up the, the ongoing. It's quite a lot of good stuff here you can plunder. So exo armor. Oh, and it seems to have gone somewhere else now. Something else to discover in a new loading area. Hey, Groves Games. Still building at your uh, hanging gardens. Alright. It's a big, uh, big sleeping area. I wonder if this area is buildable in as well. This is good and I like this. This is horribly nasty and uh, ugly and scrappy, but it looks really w good lived in kind of aged, dilapidated kind of uh, room. It's cool. I'm pretty sure that love other one of um, Gaz Art's uh, mods that I did was a was a. Um, This led me back into Vault 111. This is very reminiscent of uh, Vault 111. Has it led me back into it? I think it has. This this is very familiar. I think you come through here, don't you? On when you when you uh, wake up from your cryopod, when you first start the game. Ah. Yeah, you do. This is it. I thought it was. Yeah. Well, I never. That is clever. That's why I had to reload, I suppose. That's why I went to a whole new reload because I was going back into Vault 111 as part of into a already existent place in the game. That's interesting. Right, let's go back in there and um, see what else I can discover. Not the CC changed, and if I touch it again, I'll lose a settlement function. Sony's rules. Not the C. Is that the um, CC change? Is that you talking about the um, the, um, the the buy-in option thingy? But what's it called? But the Creation Club. So you're doing Creation Club and because of that you can't touch any of your old mods? Is that what you're saying there? Is that the rules from Defesda? If you're making cr paid content you can't carry on doing free content. Is that their rules or something? Is that what you meant by your message there? I, couldn't, I wasn't quite understanding it. Oh, that just leads back into the same place. It's kind of a redundant door. Creation kit, yeah, so I thought you meant that. So you can't m mess with any of your uh, your mods you've done already because you've because of your because you're working on creation kit. Is that what you're saying? I would say, if anything, Mr. Guy looked like me since I'm older than him. <laughs> uh, I can't remember my MySpace probably page. I'm sure I have. Uh, I, mean, I, I used to hang out with Mr. Guy quite a lot. We used to do a, we used to do a venue together. We used to run a venue in East London. So there's probably a lot of old pictures of me and him. Yeah. 
suppose there's mm, I'm far handsomer than him. <laughs> right, let's test out this. Uh, let's see what's everything on this. Right, there's a few hours quite a lot in this workbench actually. Might just steal all the stuff from the workbench. Let's see. Let's see what could be scrapped. Is it for God's or soul for me, your flesh? Pungent skin t shirt, or is it the. Uh... Alright, so yeah, I can scrap a lot of stuff anyway, so. It's not really settlement material, though, I'd say. It's more like. Uh... You wouldn't want to call a load of people here, I don't think. Let's crack some of the rubble, shall I? At least do that. I don't think you'd want to get a lot of people here, but maybe you could make it as your own player home. So this is make it, if you're one sort of person who likes to create player homes, then this would be kitty cool, I'd say. Let's just smart it up. I'm a sucker for thinking scrapping stuff. Something very therapeutic about being able to make things disappear like this. Right, due to a glitch in the creation club, I was able to slip some things by PS4, but they fixed it, and next time I upload, I'll, it will make me get rid of them. Oh. So you managed to wangle a few uh, sneaky things past um, past Sony, but you can't go back onto them now, otherwise it will fix them, and uh, you can see. That's a shame. So you're working on any new stuff, or, you, or you, will it mess up whatever you do if you go in on any thing or whatsoever? Remember you, you had a um, uh, a box of stuff on um, hanging hanging gardens, whatever it's called. And every time I try to get into that box, uh, it would crash the game. So I stopped bloody and trying to get into it, and then it looked like you got rid of it. God, your soul. Yeah, all right. Yeah. What did I say? Uh, and nowadays, shirts are worth more than insurance. Sad, really. Yeah, I sold a lot of old T-shirts on eBay a while back, actually. Looks like I can scrap the whole vault. No, it can't be. Well, actually, no, I'm pretty sure it must be. I don't know. Let's just go and have a look around and get rid of all the bodies. At the very least. This is pretty cool, actually. You can have your own. I suppose yeah, there are probably other mods that let you, uh, let you have your own vault. There's a, lot, there's a lot of it you can actually... Yeah, I don't think you can... Uh, there are lots of stuff, too much for PS4 processor. That's why I got rid of it. What, you got rid of PS4? You, or you stopped making mods on PS4 completely? Oh, you got rid of the box, you mean? The... Uh, that you were talking that I was just asked you about just now. The cheap, well not really a cheap box, but a box that had loads of stuff in it, yeah, because every time I tried to open it, 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 it crashed the breaking save anyway. Yeah, so I say this was, uh, oh, we can scrap all this. So what I could do, if I was, I was desperate for stuff, I could scrap everything and take all the blinking scrap to one of my other settlements. But... Yeah... Oh no, this is, oh, there is a limit to how far you can go, I assume. This is... Yeah, I'm assuming that's correct. I walk through and it still seems to be letting me carry on. Can I scrap that door and get in here? It's a bit annoying you can't get through here actually. You'd think there'd be some way of getting through this, this into here. There doesn't seem to be any other doors into it anyway.
There's no other way into there. Yeah, there's an interesting little mod, a nice little bit of a uh, uh, little story going on there. It's an hour of my time it's taken up. Uh, yeah. Some good enemies to kill, some good scrap, and I'd say if I want to, I can... Let me just see if I can build to attract new settlers, if I wanted to turn this into a settlement. But but there's no stats above overhead saying um, how many beds there are and all that kind of stuff. So I'm wondering if um, you can't actually... Right, I can build a generator. Doesn't seem to want to let me build a... Uh... What's to call it? A calling settlement thingy. <laughs> the name of which escapes me at the moment. Oh, here we are. Uh, no, no. So you can't call settlers here. Looking at this, unless they've hidden it somewhere. Right, but yeah, I don't. Looking at the thing, there's no stats for um, how many beds you've got and all that kind of thing. How many settlers you've got. So I'm assuming that means that you can't use this as a as a a place for calling other people a settlement basically you can use it as a play at home I'm guessing okay alright I think I shall start off now cheers for watching yeah nice chatting to you guys I'm gonna go. <coughs> I'm try have an early night because I've got a bit of a cold coming on. And I've got crappy old work in the morning. Still a bit weird about this blinking friendly red roach. Yeah, cheers, mate. Cheers, Jay. That workbench was now. What was that workbench? It wasn't it through here, was it? That was. Uh. See that grub? Probably won't go in there, know me. <laughs> Where was that blinking workbench? Oh. Uh. Uh, yeah. Now I'm definitely out. Off. See you there. Thanks for watching, everybody.